de son témoignage dans le scandale des dépenses au Sénat. Mr. Speaker, I've been uh, very clear as soon as, I learned, as, soon, as soon as soon as I learned of this matter on May the 15th, we made that matter public. Mr. Speaker, we've taken appropriate actions against Mr. Wright and Mr. Duffy, who now, as the RCMP confirmed, are the individuals under investigation on this matter. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Let me be perfectly clear, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister just said that he didn't know until May 15th, but unfortunately for him, on May 14th, Nigel Wright wrote that the Prime Minister, in fact, did know that he, Wright, had, quote, personally assisted Mike Duffy. Is that true? Right, Honourable Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, let me be very clear about what Mr. Well, it's, it's right in the documents, Mr. Speaker, about what uh, Mr. Wright uh, told the RCMP. He said uh, he told uh, me that Senator Duffy had agreed to repay the money. He told me that he did not inform me of his personal decision to pay that money himself. When I learned of that, I took the appropriate action. Mr. Speaker, he keeps trying to hold on to a detail. We're talking about the whole scheme that took place in his office. Exactly. Exactly. On February 22nd, Nigel Wright wrote, quote, I do want to speak to the PM before everything is considered final. An hour later, he wrote, we are good to go from the PM. Mr. Speaker, what did the Prime Minister approve during that hour? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, this is answered right in the RCMP documents. They say, and then Nigel Wright said, the Prime Minister was aware on February 22nd that Senator Duffy had agreed to repay the money. I later learned on May the 15th that that was not true. And let me, let me tell you what the conclusion of the RCMP is on this. After months of interviews and review of documents, the investigator says he is not aware of any evidence that the Prime Minister was involved in the repayment or reimbursement of money to Senator Duffy or his lawyer. The RCMP could not be clear. Yeah. Leader of the Opposition. Order. 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 The Honorable Leader of the Opposition now has the floor. We are good to go. Good to go with what? Very good. The right Honorable Prime Minister. <laughs> good to go with Mr. Duffy repaying his own expenses. As yeah. Mr. Speaker, he has acknowledged, I told him personally, as he told everybody he had done, including the Canadian public, and when we found out that wasn't true, we've taken the appropriate action and he has been appropriately sanctioned by the Senate. Yeah. Opposition. On May 28th, when the Prime Minister was first questioned about the deal with Mike Duffy, he said, and I quote, that he never gave any, any instruction to his staff on how to handle the Duffy scandal. Hmm. But we now know from court documents, Nigel Wright went to the Prime Minister for approval of the deal. Why did the Prime Minister say something to Parliament that he knew was not true? Here, here. Well, the right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, as I've made clear, I was told that Mr. Duffy was going to repay the money himself, something he announced on national television for everybody. That story proved not to be true. When I learned that it was not true from Mr. Wright, on May the 15th, we took the appropriate action. That is why Mr. Wright and Mr. Duffy are now under investigation. The Honourable Member for Papineau. 
Mr. Speaker, Canadians deserve leaders who tell the truth. The RCMP revealed this morning that the Prime Minister's office. Order. The Honourable Member for Papineau. Order. The RCMP. Order. The Honourable Member for Papineau now has the floor. The RCMP revealed this morning that the Prime Minister's office was guilty of corruption and that the government has been covering it up for months. Does the Prime Minister still believe that he bears no responsibility for the corruption in his own office? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, what again? Once again, what the RCMP has confirmed in its documents today is that two individuals uh, Mr. Duffy and Mr. Wright are under investigation for their actions in this matter, and they have also confirmed that this Prime Minister has been telling exactly the truth. The Honourable Member for Papineau. Monsieur le Président, depuis des mois, les Canadiens, d'un bout à l'autre de ce pays, doutent de ce que ce gouvernement leur dit. Or, aujourd'hui, nous apprenons que le Premier ministre a effectivement induit cette Chambre en erreur. Les Canadiens s'attendent à mieux de leur leader. Le Premier ministre prendra-t-il ses responsabilités et acceptera-t-il de témoigner sous serment? Monsieur le Président, la GRC a confirmé deux choses aujourd'hui. Premièrement, que c'est M. Wright et M. Duffy qui sont sous enquête pour uh, cette affaire et que le Premier ministre uh, a dit uh, toute la vérité en cette matière. L'honorable député. When the member from Edmonton St. Albert said that the Conservative caucus had become what they once mocked, non answers like that are what he meant. Two weeks ago, everyone in the Conservative caucus stood up, could have stood up for Canadians and instead chose to stand up to help their leader cover up this scandal. When will the Prime Minister finally put his country ahead of his party and tell Canadians the truth? Order. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, it was uh, only a few uh, sitting days ago that the Senate was asked to pronounce judgment on uh, senators who had behaved inappropriately. Conservative senators voted to sanction those members. Liberal senators, of, of course, voted not to do that, voted to protect those senators, very consistent with the kind of communist dictatorship that the members so admire. <laughs> is taking up a great deal of time with these interruptions. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition now has the floor. Nigel Wright dit qu'il est allé voir le Premier ministre pour approbation. C'est écrit noir sur blanc dans les documents de la GRC déposés en cours. Est-ce que le Premier ministre est en train de nous dire que Nigel Wright est un menteur? <laughs> C'est dit en noir et blanc que M. Wright m'a dit que M. Duffy va aller rembourser ses propres dépenses. C'est plus tard qu'il a décidé de, de faire le contraire. Quand j'ai euh, su, quand j'ai connu cette information, j'ai agi immédiatement approprié. Voilà. Personally assisted Mike Duffy with repaying his expenses. Did the Prime Minister ask Nigel Wright what personal assistance he had given to Mike Duffy? Yes or no? The right honorable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, once again, the RCMP interviewed Mr. Wright on this question, and he was extremely clear. He said he did not tell the Prime Minister of his eventual personal decision to pay the $90,000 to Senator Duffy. It could not be clearer from Mr. Wright or from the RCMP. The honourable member should accept it. The honourable leader of the opposition.
opposition. The Prime Minister keeps trying to hang his hat on the detail of the form of that personal assistance. He keeps avoiding the clear question as to whether or not he knew that Nigel Wright had personally assisted Mike Duffy. Can he tell Canadians what he knew? Order, the right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, it is in black and white that I did not know. The RCMP confirms it. And Mr. Speaker, unlike the Leader of the Opposition, it didn't take them 17 years to yeah. figure out.